Hello food tubers. Today on Basis Home Cooking, we're going to be cooking up a rack of beef back ribs. And I'll be doing that out on the Weber Performer with the assistance of the Cajun Bandit Rotisserie. This ought to be a good one, so stick around and stay tuned. Okay guys, uh, I got my uh, rack of uh, beef back ribs here and uh, I put it on the spit. Alright, I centered it. And I put only two prongs on into the meat because that's all I can get. And uh, I proceeded to uh, tie it up a little bit. Now I put a couple holes on each side of the middle rib here. Alright, and I ran a string through up and around and tied it so the, uh, the middle doesn't sag. And then on the ends... I just ran some string uh, in between the two uh, end bones and then tied it around the uh, forks here to hold it in place. Alright, so that looks good. We'll, we'll see if uh, it'll stay on there during the cook. Alright, because this is probably going to be, you know, a four, five, six hour cook. Alright, so uh, <clears throat> let me start out by just seasoning this up with a little bit of Maggie. So obviously a lot easier to uh, do this when uh, spitting the forks aren't on there. All right, let me do this side here. Okay, now I'm just going to let that soak in and do its thing. And then uh, go outside and get the coals ready. Okay, I uh, got my coals uh, stoking up outside. And while that's going on, uh, I'm just going to season this uh, rib roast up now. Now I already put some Maggie seasoning on it and let it sit there for a while while I got the coals going and set up the uh, grill and uh, now I'm going to season it. Going to do a little mustard. Alrighty. Get that all rubbed in there nice. Okay, and so for the uh, seasoning, this is a, a rub I made up uh, a couple videos ago for the uh, rib roast that I did, and I'm going to use that on here. I'll have all the ingredients down in the uh, description box. Alright, so let's get some of this sprinkled on there. I'm going to give it a good coat, just like you would any other. Uh, Rack of ribs. Okay, and we'll do the top. Okay, there you have it. Let that sit there for uh, 10 minutes while the coals are all uh, ready to go. All right, we'll meet you out there. Okay, out here at the grill, uh, this is my setup. I'm going with the uh, coal baskets that came with the uh, unit. And uh, I'm only going to go with one because I'm trying to cook this low and slow. All right. So these coals have been going for about 10 minutes. Let me dump these. All right. I'm just going to spread these out a bit. And I want to get this lid on quick to uh, keep these coals from getting too hot. All right. So let me just... Uh, Get a few uh, wood chunks in here. Woo, that's hot. All right. Then I'll get my old drip pan on there. And on goes the, uh, the ribs. Now I balance this as best as I could before uh, putting the clothes on there so I don't have to leave the lid open too long. All right. Now there's a few holes in the Cajun Bandit ring, as you can see, I got some on this side and the other side. So I'm not going to open the uh, top vent too much, just a hair. All right, maybe an eighth. All right, because there's plenty of uh, air coming in. And I do have my uh, bottom vent sent. And on she goes. There she is. Spin, baby. Spin. All right. 
On goes the lid and we'll uh, be posted if anything changes out here. All right, later. All right, I'm back out here and uh, I got my uh, ambient temperature coming in at, uh, uh, can you read that? 268 and uh, we're slowly climbing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this top vent because there's plenty of air that's able to get in and out. As you can see, this thing leaks like a mother. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna keep an eye on this and uh, see what happens. Okay, I'm back out here at the grill. I think we're about two and a half hours in. I'm not sure if it's two and a half or three and a half. But anyway, my tent dropped. Uh, my alarm has been going off. And uh, I fired up another uh, small chimney of uh, charcoal, which will be ready in about 10 minutes. I'm going to replenish the coals in here. Let's take a look, see what we got. Looking good. Uh, and there's my... Uh, basket of coals so uh, they look like they're dwindling down so I'm gonna replenish and fill up this basket over here and uh, we'll get the temperature back up all right okay back out here just checking on my temp I think we're sitting at about three hours and after I put that new uh, bit of coal on there temp is up to 304 right now so I'll just let that go I can't really control it anymore I got the top vent closed and uh, I even got my bottom vent closed. But uh, I'll keep an eye on this, and when it starts dropping down, I'll slowly open some of the vents again. All right, well, we still got some time to go. I think we're at three hours, so uh, I we'll see you back in an hour or so. Later. Okay, we're out here. It's a good four hours. Temp is sitting at 2.44. And uh, let's see what we got going here. I'm gonna probe this. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on a second. There we go. That's better. All right. Let me just probe this. I want to see. Check it for tenderness right now. This is sitting at like 190, 197. This is going in like butt hair. So I'm just gonna let this go for a little while longer. Not much. Still have a little bit of coals back there. All right, so I think I'm going to let this go for like about another half hour. We'll catch you back later. Okay, we're back out here, and uh, we're at four and a half hours. I'm going to stop this cook. Because I was out here uh, four hours, and uh, it was probing real nice. It was close to 200 degrees, so uh, they're coming off. Those things look tremendous. Oh, nice. All right, so uh, let me get this inside, and uh, we'll let it rest, and we'll tap into this baby. All right, man, catch ya. Okay, guys, there it is. Four and a half hours out on the rotisserie. Oh, this thing's looking real good. Oh, it's very, very soft. This is going to be a good one. Let me let this rest for a little bit, and we'll slice into it. Okay, everyone. Uh... This thing of beauty has been uh, resting for a while, so let's uh, get into this. Oh man, look at the pullback on these bones here. Let me get this off of here first. Cut some of these strings that was holding it in place. Oh, let me get this guy here. There we go. And there you have it. Get all the string out of here. Okay, and here we go. I tell you, this thing is like heaven right now. This is going to be so good. Oh my god you guys this is unbelievable this stuff is so tender and it's like that tacky juicy that sticky collagen that's broken down it's unbelievable all right let me cut one here Now those are some beef back ribs, big man style. Okay, here we are guys, I'm telling you. 
these are some sick looking ribs these things are so tender and so juicy it's just like gelatinous sticky gooey ribs all right let me get this inside and we'll take a hit off of it all right guys this is it we got the uh, rib some beans and some uh, mashed potatoes all right we're gonna be good i can't wait to taste to taste it so uh, let's give it a shot here we go mmm I tell you these are killer look at that bite from a beef rib let's do that again huh mmm that is so freaking good it's unbelievable all right guys like I said stick around you'll see uh, some videos like this in the future all right and uh, I appreciate all my subs and everyone who comes by and watches my channel so uh, until next time I can't say smoke them if you got them that's Barlow's already well until next time stick around and uh, stay tuned take care mm.